Hello, this is Chris with Curtsy Fabrications, and we're going to learn how to scale a 3D model using this Christmas tree. Let's go! Today we're here in my son's bedroom. We've got this Christmas tree. Notice it's missing a topper. He's a big fan of classic video games, and so what we're going to do is find a star man for the top of this tree that's available on Thingiverse. But first thing we need to do, we need to figure out how big the star man needs to be to fit this Christmas tree. So I've got my ruler here. I'm going to take, kind of measure how big we want it to be. This one's going to be about 7 inches or 18 centimeters, and that'll work in this direction as well. Now let's head over to the PC. We'll take a look at the slicing software, and I'll show you how it's done. So here we are in front of the computer. I'm going to show you how we download the model off of Thingiverse. We're going to save it to our computer. We're going to put it into our slicing software. From there, we'll scale it to the dimensions that we mentioned in the previous segment. And then we'll slice it. And we'll then be able to put it on our SD card to take down to our printer. So first up, this is the model that my son decided that he wanted. So you notice it's just a, a, a Starman from Mario Brothers. Just click on the thing files. Thing files will take us to here. Then we're going to download this big pixel star. Okay, it will download. And then if we wanted to, we could go and click on it here in the uh, the bar, and that would go ahead and open it for us. But instead, what we're going to do is I've already got Cura open to save us some time, and we'll just load it there. So, again, we'll come here. There it is, big pixel star. All right, so let's open that up. Notice that by default, it does lay it down on the bed. There's nothing on the back here, so that should be a good orientation. First of all, what we want to do is we want to make it the size that we mentioned in the previous segment, about 180 centimeters or so. So let's click on our model, go up here to scale, then right now, right here are the dimensions of the model. And this should be X, Y, and Z. Notice Z being our shortest at 24 millimeters. So we said that we wanted it to be 18 centimeters or about 180 millimeters. So we're going to have to size this up to get it to the size we want it to be. So we're at 100. Uh, I guess it's going to need to be about 80% bigger. So let's try 175. Notice uniform scaling is turned on. And so it's going to size everything up accordingly. Now we are at 189 by 178. This might be all right. I think I'm going to go a little bit smaller. Just because we don't want it too big for the tree. And there we go. So here we are, 173 in this direction, 183 in this direction, and the height is 40. This is going to be a pretty big model when we're done printing it. So what we're going to do now, we'll pull this out, we'll go down to our printer and get it all set up down there and do a time lapse. Let's go. So here I am at the Creality Ender 5. This is what we're going to print this on. I have my micro SD card. We're going to insert this into the printer. It goes in this front slot here, upside down. Then we're going to load up our Crystal Series PLA translucent yellow star color. Think. it's going to look really good and then we're going to get to printing so let's get this loaded back at the computer one more time because my son wanted eyes for his model that would be orange sort of you know give depth and give the correct look to this model so went back on Thingiverse found that someone had already created the uh, tree topper eyes as you can see here 
So we're going to download those thing files, these star eyes here. So let's import them into Cura so that we can scale them the same way that we did the other model. So here we've got this model, uh, which we scaled to 170. We're going to go ahead and delete that one so that we only have the model on the build plate that we want. We're going to go down here to our star eyes, which are right here. It'll load them onto the model. So like before, we'll click here. Last model, we scaled up to 170. So we're going to do that here as well. And there we go. We're ready to print these. Let's go. So the eyes for my star man have finished. I'm going to pull these off the bed. Take them right off. Now we're going to look and see if they scaled correctly. And they go right in. We will glue these in and we'll test them out on the top of the tree. So here I am back at the Christmas tree. We have our finished tree topper. The eyes have been finished. They're glued in. We're ready to go. So I'm going to give it a shot, see how it fits the tree, see if our scaling was good. And um, we're going to see just how it looks. So on this one, we'll notice, first of all, I'm really happy because the hole in the bottom of this tree topper, I can already tell fits this tree well. So that's a happy coincidence with the scaling. Notice it seems to fit our tree well. I'm happy with the size of this. So this project was a success. Hey, I chose this project because it was something I was already working on. I thought the process would be useful to those new to 3D printing. I'm going to be going over a lot of different projects, some of them more advanced, some of them more simple like this, something for all different levels. So if you like content like this, if you like 3D printing, you like electronics, you just like engineering or, or fun projects, please stay tuned to my channel. Go and like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Click the bell below if you'd like to see them immediately when I post them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Curzy Fabrications.